guys. Don't know what I'm doing with my fingers. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be <laughs> I will be doing a video using some drugstore products that I haven't used before. We'll be creating this look with this. So if you want to see how I created this look, stay tuned and let's get started. All right, you guys. So I've already primed my face. I cleaned up all my makeup and then I primed my face. So, jumping right into it, the foundation I'm going to be trying out today will be the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. It looks like this. Let me shake it up real good. Alright, so this is how it comes out. It has the gel for applicator. And I'm just going to start applying some on the face. It looks a little light, but we're just going to roll with it. I am not the one who is great at picking shades and foundation, so it sucks. Alright, so we got that all over. Now I'm going to be taking my IF Cosmetics Foundation Brush and I'm just going to blend this out. Blending out very smoothly. It feels very light. It doesn't feel real watery at all, which is a good thing. We will check on the coverage in just a second. Okay. Let me grab my mirror real quick. So it feels really good on the skin. Like I said, it's very lightweight. As far as coverage, it's not full coverage. Hate to brush your bubbles, but it's not full coverage. Alright, so next we are going to be concealing our face. I am going to be trying out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. It looks like this. And we are going to get it popping. What the hell? Alright, so to blend that out, I'm just going to be taking my handy dandy beauty blender. I'm just going to dab it out. Or if I'm looking like down, my mirror is right here, so I do apologize. Blend that out real good. Very easy to blend out, I will say that. Does not feel too heavy at all. I'm just gonna take my finger and blend out the nose. Pull my dab. Alright, next we're going to be setting the face. The setting powder I'm going to be trying out today is this NYX HD setting powder. And we are going to bake the face. Okay. So I'm just going to dip my beauty blender and I'm just going to start applying. Totally do not have to bake. You can always skip this step, but I find with baking that it definitely sets the foundation and everything together real well, so it makes your skin look good. Alright, so we're going to let that bake, and we are going to contour the face. I did not get a contour palette. I got bronzer, and the bronzer that I'm going to be trying out is the NYX Matte Bronzer. It looks like this. Let's just take that out. I'm just going to be using my handy dandy Ulta Beauty mini brush thing. I've lost a lot of my brushes, you guys. And I'm just going to apply that. It looks nice. So 
blending out blending out pretty good. I will say, going with a light hand for sure, because it does pick up a lot of pigment. And I'm just going to kind of dab some down the nose, not too much. I really don't like to contour my nose that much. I feel like my nose looks okay. Alright, next we are just going to start dusting away this setting powder. when we do make up the eyes, like, oh my god, hideous, oh, it's like stuck on there, what the hell, okay, that looks better, alright, so next we are going to be going in with some blush, the blush that I will be using today is by Note, the color of it is Desert Rose, so we are going to try that out. Next, I'm going to be taking my Luxie 514 brush and just apply it. So we've got our blush on. Next step, we are going to go right in with the eyes. Where is the palette that I want to try? It's right here. Okay, so this is not a drugstore palette. I actually ordered this off of Amazon. It is the Impress You Beauty Glaze palette. It looks like this. Let me give you guys a quick peek of the colors. It looks like this. It almost looks like the Jaclyn Hill palette. But it's not. So we're going to work with it. So, for transition, I'm just going to go in with this color right here. And that will be our transition shade. for this look is going to be this color right here. Just want to blend it all out real good on that crease. Blending out really nice. It doesn't have too much pigment, but I mean, it's okay. Alright, so next I'm going to jump in with the next shade. We are going to jump in right here. You can't even see it. Right here. And we are just going to keep darkening this up. Using my same brush. I've got to get some new brushes, you guys. Far so good. Alright, so we are going to pop this look up a little more. Where are my damn brushes? Okay. Oh shit. I'm over here dropping things, you guys. I feel retarded. Alright. So I feel like we are going to pop on this green right here. 
and see where this takes us. Check out the pigment in it. Not bad. Alright, so I'm just going to pop this all over my eyelid. I don't want to go too far up. just want to face it around my eyelid completely. The pigment and these really dark colors seem really good, so, so far so good. Okay, next I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Hope you guys are seeing this okay. I'm just going to dab a little more because I want it a little bit darker. Alright, so now we're going to add a little bit of shimmer. So, the color I will be using is this one right here. It's real shimmery. I know my brush is super dirty, you guys, but like I said, I have to buy new ones. So, kind of down on my luck right now, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, so I wiped it off a little bit, and I'm going to dab some of this shimmer on. I'm not putting it all the way on, and I'm just kind of putting it in the middle, if you get what I'm saying. I don't know why, but to me it's looking like a yellow color or something. Okay. We're going to work with that. Same thing to the other eye. I've had better eyeshadow days, you guys. Trust me. This is what happens when you try new things out. You just don't know what to expect. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to go back in with the other brush before and kind of blend this out a little more. Just so it doesn't look too harsh, if you know what I'm saying. Alright, so we got our eyes done. Next we are going to be trying out this Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. It looks like this. I am so excited to try this part, you guys. I have heard crazy great reviews on this. We want to apply this before we put our falsies. It's picking up the lashes really good. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Alright, so I like it. I like it. I'm, I'm sewing on it. I will definitely use this. Alright, so I will be right back, you guys. I'm going to be applying my falsies, so I will see you guys in a sip. Get right, you guys, so now that we got our falsies on, and I went ahead and also put mascara on the bottom lashes. Again, I love this fucking mascara. It is the shit. Now is the time for some real fun. We are going to be trying out this Milani highlighter. And I'm just going to be taking this little Wet n Wild brush just because they're cheap brushes and I've like lost my brushes, so this is what I have to use. So let's just pop some of this on. Okay. Okay, Milani. <laughs> it looks really pretty. I like a lot of highlights, you guys, so don't mind me. I'm going to be taking a little bit on the nose, down the nose, and I'm also going to pop some on my brow bone. Look at that, you guys. 
That is stunning. really love it. I will definitely use it again. Now for lips, I purchased the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. I know these ain't um, new, but I haven't tried them. And I got the color Rebel Rose. It looks like this. So I'm just going to apply some of that on real quick. really soft. Smooth amazing on the lips. So, we got that on. I can feel it drying and it like feels so weird, you guys. Alright, well anyways, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I may be peeping back in a little later on just to give you guys an update on how this makeup set on my face throughout the day. Maybe, maybe not. It might be another video. But um, anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below in the comment sections what you guys thought on this look. And also comment any other products or brands that you would like me to try out for you guys. And before I leave, I want you guys to know that y'all need to go and subscribe to my channel. And hit that thumbs up button. And we will see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.